You can get a lot of nice gold items in CS2 with $250, so I'll go over the best ones and on top of that I'll also show you some gloves to combo with these. First off we have the Kukri Stained which is very shiny and the Kukri itself has been growing on me and the price has kind of established by now, it was released a few months ago already, so you can get the field tested version for $235. Then we have the Stiletto Ultraviolet which is my favorite purple budget knife in the game, the gloves to go with it are very expensive expensive though, but this one in field tested is pretty clean as you can see in the video and it will cost you around $223. The next one is the Bowie Tiger Tooth which is one of the best skins you can get for this knife and the price is actually very affordable, you would think this one is very expensive but you can get it in factory new for $222. Next up the flip knife floor looks amazing but sadly it has to be well worn as the field tested version goes over the video's budget. The well worn is $228 but I would advise going for one with better conditions if you have the money because as you can see this one is pretty scratched. This video was sponsored by Skins Monkey, which is a trading platform where you can trade your old rusty CS2 skins for some new shiny ones in seconds. You just select the skins that you want to trade and the ones that you want to get. You click trade and it's done. If you use my code OSNI on the website you get a bonus of up to $5 for free and a 35% bonus when buying balance. They also host giveaways in the freebies page and link to Skins Monkey is in the description. And then we have the Ursus Knife Damascus Steel which is so shiny and the best part is that it is way under the video's budget as you can get the factory new version of this for around $150. And then the classic knife Crimson Web which is great for a red combo and it is also the best skin that you can get for the classic knife at the moment and the field test with low float will cost you around $236. And then the Nomad Knife Stain which is another very shiny one with some pretty cool animations as well, I kinda like the Nomad, especially the rare animation and you can get it in field tested for $238. The Gut Knife Doppler had to be in this video, it is factory new of course and I personally prefer the Phase 2 which is also way under the budget because it costs costs around $200. And then the Skeleton Knife Urban Mask which is perfect for a white combo and despite being field tested it is pretty clean as you can see in the video and this one that I'm showing costs around $230. The Huntsman Knife Tiger Tooth is one of the best skins to get for this knife, it also has nice pull animations and you can get the factory new one for $238. The next one is the Bayonet Black Laminate which is one of the best black laminate knives for this budget, it also makes the handle of the bayonet look so much better as you can see and the battle scarred version is around $244. The next one is a survival knife crimson web which currently is my favorite skin for the survival. I wish Volvo would add the chroma finishes to these knives but until they do, this one in minimal wear for $197 is pretty good. And then the talent knife forest CD patch is probably the best green skin that you can get in this price range and get it with under 0.23 float so that it isn't very scratched and in this case the field tested one is $228. The parkour knife solar is alright, I don't love it personally but I added this knife as there's always someone who likes it and if that's you let me know down in the comments and this one in minimal wear costs $226. And then the falchion knife lore in factory new which as you can see looks super clean but honestly if you want to save some money you can just get the minimal wear version for under $200 and it looks almost the same as the factory new that I'm showing but the factory new one costs around $230. That is it, if you enjoyed leave a like and subscribe to the channel for daily CS2 content.